What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about sampling in Cubase. There's a lot of producers that like to use Ableton Live, Bitwig or FL Studio for sampling. But let me tell you guys, you can actually use Cubase and its features and its plugin for sampling just like in other DAW. However, Ableton and Bitwig, they are kind of uh, more advanced because they cater to electronic music producers um, but if you want to do a basic sampling or basic to intermediate level of sampling you can still achieve that in Cubase right so without further ado let's jump right in okay so I'm gonna just drag uh, uh, some loop here so we're gonna use this loop for now and this is a four bar loops okay if you notice that it actually didn't set to 4 bar because the tempo of this audio and the tempo of my project is not the same. So the tempo is 135 BPM and my current project's tempo is 120 BPM, right? So, uh, but don't worry, you can still sample with your preferred tempo. So what you're going to have to do is, you're going to click on this event and you go to the musical mode and just click on it and now this sample is being set to 4 bar automatically so now let's hear it while turning on the metronome so that we can see that it, whether it is aligned with the project or not <laughs> right perfect so it perfectly matches the tempo and it plays correctly right so the next step is very important you have to do this if you don't do this it's gonna mess up the sampling technique so what you're gonna have to do now is you're gonna click on this event press shift right click and go to bounce selection okay and then replace event so now we actually have bounced this audio event to match the current project tempo which is 120 bpm so now when I go and click on this musical mode, nothing changes. So it's fixed now for this tempo, 120 B per minute. So that's what you want, right? This is the first step that you have to do, which is to bounce the audio to the project's current tempo, all right? So that's the first thing. Once you've done that, so the next step is actually you can either manually sample this. For instance, you can just cut these guys like so, and then you can reverse them maybe you can sample like that but that is the most basic way of doing it uh, we're gonna do a bit more advanced than that so I'm gonna go ahead and add a instrument uh, which is the uh, which is the uh, sampler I'm gonna grab this groove agent okay now I have this groove agent right we're gonna actually be sampling using groove agent SE so this is the standard version that comes with Cubase First thing is you can actually sample like here, maybe uh, a certain transient that you like here and you want to chop that one. You can use the range selection tool to come and select the region that you want. You can press shift X to cut it, right? Or you can use the uh, scissors tool to cut it. So you can press alt and then you can just move to the transient or to the grid that you want and you can cut it like so. Or you can just um, disable the grid, turn off the snap, and then now you can uh, just move around freely to cut each section sample like that, right? So once you have done that, let's say you like this part, this part right here, right? So what you can do now is you can, you can select these events, you can just click on it and just drag it to the pad here. So when you drag these files to the pad, it's gonna create, it's gonna create the slices for you already. So these are the slices that you created and now it's added here okay so then if you want to further manipulate it you can do a lot of things so this is the first way of sampling where you manually cut the transient like so and then you can just click on all these events and drag it to the pads now it's going to create the slice for you right i'm going to show you the second way of sampling and we're gonna go and um, reset all of these pads. Okay, now we have empty pads. 
and I'm gonna just undo everything now I got this full audio event okay I'm gonna click on this audio event and I'm gonna open the groove agent and now we have this groove agent ready for us to sample this audio event okay now I'm gonna drag this audio event to the first pad right here okay so now this first pad contains this audio event and the rest of the pads is empty okay okay I'm gonna go and click on the slice like so and now I can create the slices so I'm gonna click on this create slices now so it created a couple of slices for me based on the transient of this audio event right we can use the transient or we can use the grid so if you want to use the grid you can go ahead and change the grid value to whichever the value that you want okay or uh, you can use both the grid and the transient like so so now we have only a few event right now because now it's actually set to transient and grid and the value is only quarter note let's bring it up to a eight note now we have more slices created for us okay or you can actually manually create the slices so you can press control and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out just like just like how we do in project window and now I'm gonna press alt and I'm gonna click on the transient for, in for instance let's say I like this part here and I only want to slice this part right okay, press alt and click and I get a new slice here so the first slice is there and let's create another slice maybe right here okay so now I got two slices the first slice is this one quite long okay so if I don't like this section here maybe I mistakenly cut this part so I can just manually drag it to the left or to the right depending on the slice that you want to have so maybe you want to have it start here yeah sounds good right you can also turn on the snap to zero where is that it, yeah that's the one snap to zero crossing okay so when you click on it so when you move it it's gonna snap to zero crossing so that you don't get any clicks or pop see oh there's still a click and pop that sucks so let me adjust it accordingly let's see okay I can still hear pops so what I can do next is I can increase the fading two millisecond okay all right this is much better so even with the zero crossing snap it's still not good enough so we have to actually manually add in the fade in or fade out so that's how you sample using the groove agent in Cubase right but we are not done yet you can actually go to each path and you can manipulate it even further so you can go to sample here okay so this sample you can actually do a lot of things you can even reverse them or you can go to the pitch tab here and you can adjust the pitch like so make sure to increase the envelope amount so it will create the pitch glide there let's try even more these are the few things that you can do to further manipulate the audio so that's pitch tab and you can also add filter to it so in order to add a filter you have to come here and uh, turn on the filter type that you want we have classic tube drive hot clip bit red rate red right so let's try tube drive and so you, here are all these parameters that you can adjust oops I was 
I turn on on the wrong one. Let me just use this pad. Okay, so I can adjust this cutoff like so, and I can also turn up the resonance. Okay, let me adjust the envelope curve here. Let's try that. Okay, you can also sync this one. Let me go to the pitch and also sync it. Okay, here you have a couple of more mode that you can select. You have the sustain. So sustain will play. So sustain will actually play when you click on it and when you sustain the pad. It's going to play until you let go of the pad. You know? So that is sustain and we have loop which we, when we click on when we press this pad it's going to keep looping. Okay, one shot is uh before I explain one shot I have to explain the sustain first. So I'm going to go to sustain and I'm going to hit play. If you notice, it's actually playing faster than the actual tempo. The reason is because I use the pitch envelope to increase the pitch and now it's increasing the speed as well. So if I go to one shot and I hit play, it's going to actually play the correct tempo. So if I go back to sustain, I'm going to hit play now and I'm going to have the metronome turn on. It doesn't match the metronome, right? So if I go to one shot, so it's now matching the tempo of this project, so which is really useful. If the sample is not matching your project, you have to come here and change it to one shot. To be honest, I don't know what this sample loop does, but it just makes us, the audio a bit lower in frequency and slower. So I don't know what exactly it's doing. I've never used sample loop. Most of the time I use one shot. If I want to do crazy sound design, I use loop. Like that. So let's say you want to reverse this guy. You can actually go to sample and reverse that one. Right. Uh, and another cool thing that you can do is now you can assign this to its own output. So I'm going to go to assign output. I'm going to select two output number two now if I go to groove agent I'm gonna click the drop down menu here I'm gonna have its own channel right there right now if I go to this channel I can add a few more you know plugins that I want let me add a delay then let's have a multi tab delay only on this pad you know so you can you can actually manipulate like so so that's how you can sample in Cubase with group agent there's also other ways of sampling let me show you the other types that I like to do and that is by using the sampler track so I'm gonna click on this audio event again I'm gonna press shift right click go to create sampler track so now the same sample now is being added to a sampler track and now this is so this is that track right so if I press C now, it's going to play that sample. I like to use both the Groove Agent and Sampler Track depending on the type of sampling that I'm doing. In Sampler Track, if we go to the lower note, it's going to play slower and in a lower, lower pitch. And if I go higher, it's going to play faster and it's going to play high as well. So if you don't want that, we can click on this audio warp. So when I play the note, it's going to play in the original tempo. So this is the original tempo with the original key. I'm going to go to a lower tone. The tempo of this sample remain unchanged. If you want to slice using the sampler track, you can click on the slice button here. Turn it on. Just like in Groove Agent, you have these options here. So transient, grid, transient, and grid, and manual. So I already explained what it is and how to do it. So it's going to be the same here as well. Especially when you go to manual, you can press Alt to create your grid there, like so. 
Now you can see here it created these pads for us. So now I can play. Okay, and then you can go to each of these parameters here, like pitch, filter, and amp. You have a modulation page here. So let me just bring this up. Now I can manipulate these uh, depending on the type that I want. So for, for instance, now this pitch modulation is affecting the sample. So I can, you know, do crazy things with this. See, this is really, really fun. I'm not going to touch on everything on Sampler Tribe in this video because that's going to be a really long video and I don't think I have that much of energy today, you know. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you guys some of the things that you can do with this Sampler Tribe. So one of it is actually the pitch modulation. You can sample that way. Let me bring it back to the middle and okay, now it's back to original. Now let's go to filter modulation and fil filter. Let me increase the level here. Okay, now let us change this filter value. Okay, and then you can make it sync and add a shaper. Right, now you can go here and select the curves that you want. Go to paint and just draw like so. So you can manipulate the audio like so. This is using the filter modulation. And you can go back and turn it off. Now nothing happened, right? So if you want to lower it down, you can pretty much do a lot of things by just using this filter modulation, right? So this is really cool. So let's go to amp modulation. So for amp modulation, you don't have the the envelope amount, I think. Yeah, that's not available for modulation, the amp modulation. So the moment you adjust this, it's gonna, let me sync this first. Okay, so the moment you adjust this, it's gonna it's gonna turn on the effect already, right? So if you don't want it to affect that, you can just come back here and draw like how you did earlier. Then you can just draw the um, the envelope like so. You know, so yeah, so that's it for today's video. So these are the three ways that you can actually sample in Cubase. So the first one is like I explained earlier, it's just a normal chopping. So once you have chopped the audio, you can drag that audio to Groove Agent pad and then you can further manipulate with that pad. The second way is by just dragging it to Groove Agent pad and then you create slice from there. And the third one is using the sampler track to manipulate the audio right that's it for today guys if you guys find this video helpful please make sure to subscribe turn on notification smash the like button and share this video to everybody and uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video